Good morning everyone and welcome to today's vlog. It's kind of getting off to a late start this morning. I just, I've been feeling like I start off my week really well and then as the week goes on, I feel like I just start to lose more and more energy and get more and more tired. So it was really hard getting out of bed this morning. Even though I feel like I didn't get that bad of sleep last night, I feel like my sleep was pretty good. I'm still feeling, was feeling a little tired this morning so Got off to a bit of a late start and then I've just kind of been taking it easy throughout the morning. Spent some time doing my Bible reading, having some prayer time, and then kind of planning out my day. I find that to be almost like, I don't know, a part of self-care for me, I guess. I just really enjoy having that time of the day to just sit down in the peace and quiet by myself and just have some time to... Um, spend time with the Lord and just figure out things I need to get done throughout the day or that I want to get done. I just, I really enjoy having that time. Really important also. Spend time with the Lord and make sure you're growing your relationship as a Christian. Yeah, so I just finished that up. Tobias is like passed out on the couch here beside me. <laughs> I start talking and I would like wake him up, so... The beginning of the week was a little bit busier. I was just doing a lot of cleaning because I feel like there's some cleaning I gotten kind of behind on or that I hadn't really done. Cleaned up the kitchen, just did it kind of like a big overall clean. So that's all kind of done. I don't have a lot of cleaning stuff to do, just a couple dishes, which is really nice because I've been able to just relax a little bit more and not feel like my list isn't quite so long. I can get some other things done that I wanted to do other than just housework. Today is another more chill day again. I'm hoping the weather will hold up so I can go out for a walk. So far it's looking like it's okay. It's looking just kind of like gloomy, cloudy out, but it's not raining. It'd be nice if the sun came out for a little bit, but I don't think it will. But anyways, as long as it's not raining, I'm hoping to go out for a little bit of a walk. And I finally managed to figure out our stroller <laughs> at first trying to get his carrier on and off the stroller was kind of hard because he's getting heavy and then the buttons are kind of sticky so get his car seat onto the stroller and then I couldn't get it off and it was really awkward and embarrassing so I was kind of afraid to take him out anywhere on my own when Elias was in there to do it for me but I figured it out now so I'm less nervous about taking him out on my own so yeah, hopefully we can go get some fresh air um, yeah, other than that, there's just a couple things I want to do today, but yeah, it's going to be a nice, chill, relaxing day. I'm kind of looking forward to it, just not having a ton going on and being able to, yeah, catch up on some other things. And Elias actually is going to have some time off for the next couple days, which will be really nice. So maybe I'll sit down and see if I can plan something for us to do through the weekend. It depends on the weather, though, because... The weather's not nice, it's kind of hard to go anywhere or do anything. I think I'm going to start on some dishes. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock actually, so yeah, it's morning's almost over. So I'm going to have to start on lunch kind of soon. Um, yeah, I guess I get, I'll get the dishes out of the way first. Maybe squeeze something else in before lunch. We'll see.
Hi. How come you're not sleeping? Are you not tired anymore? No? Do you want to get up? Mm -mm. His nails, he's been giving himself little scratches. I need to clip his nails and file them down a little bit so he stops cutting himself. <laughs> Poor boy. So the kitchen is all done and clean. I got the dishes washed and got the dishwasher running. And now I think I'm going to start on some lunch. I think I'm just going to do something easy like um, fried rice, just quick and simple. So I'm getting hungry and since I cleaned up the kitchen, I don't really want to make too much of a mess. This little guy just woke up from his nap right as I finished making my lunch. I think he's starting to get hungry because he's a little bit, a little bit cranky. Hmm? Is your tummy empty? You want that back? He's content as long as his soother is in his mouth. For now. So I'm gonna have to quickly scarf down the rest of my lunch and get him fed and I will catch up with you guys later. Today is one of those like really crisp, cold days. It's like kind of nice, but it's also chilly out. <laughs> it's a little bit cold, so I won't be out for too long because, yeah, today is it's a little bit cold to be out for a long walk. But it is really nice, just the fresh, crisp air. I kind of like it. And you don't mind it at all, do you? Because you're just all bundled up nice and warm. Mm -hmm. His hood keeps falling down over his eyes so he can't see. <laughs> he hates it when that happens. Hey, did you enjoy your walk? Was it good? Did you like the fresh air? <laughs> did you fall asleep? So on days like today where I don't have a lot going on, it's not a really busy day, I like to pick something around the house to clean or organize or declutter something that's not in like my weekly cleaning schedule because every week of course i do the laundry clean the bathroom vacuum wipe the counters well i do that <laughs> i do that more like a couple times a week because the counters get bad fast um but you know just like those weekly cleaning things but then there's other things that i don't get to very often. Um, things like, you know, cleaning out the pantry or the storage room, like things like that. So on days like today where I don't have a lot going on, I like to pick one of those things and just clean it up, declutter, organize, just get one little area looking better. And that way it's just easier to keep on top of the house instead of just trying to get a ton of cleaning like that done in one day just like picking a couple of spots here and there every once in a while to just really clean out and then of course I have like <laughs> get days where I am super motivated and I have lots of time and I will go through and do a huge like clean and declutter but today is not one of those days so for today I am just going to focus on doing our island drawers and specifically the bottom drawer because that is where I keep all of like our baking items. I have like flour, oats, chocolate chips, baking soda, baking powder, all that kind of stuff is all stored down there. 
and it's a little bit of a mess. I haven't really touched it since we put all that stuff in there, and that was like a year ago. So there's like flour and rice and stuff all over the bottom of the drawer, and I have a whole ton of empty jars that I was saving for in case I ended up using them, like putting stuff in them. But they've been sitting in there and I haven't touched them. So I think I need to go through and get rid of a bunch of jars and just like clean things up a bit because it's a bit of a mess. Tobias looks like he's falling asleep again. So I think what I'll do is I will put him down for a nap and then I will go and get that drawer organized. This is the stuff I've managed to declutter so far. There's a bunch of jars and then um, empty bags and then that needs to go into like the storage room just because I don't need that in the drawer with the other stuff. So that can go away until I need to refill what we have in the drawer. And then all these jars, I could probably just get rid of them because I don't think I'll be needing them. I grabbed a couple of others to fill with stuff in the pantry. These are all the extra ones that I don't need and that just are cluttering up that drawer. Now I'll show you guys how it's looking in here. It's so much better. So I've got like my flour here and then those are um, flour substitutes. Before I got pregnant, I was gluten-free just to help with some issues I was having, which left after Tobias was born. Um, so those are just leftover gluten-free flour substitutes. Um, yeah, these are my flours. I've got some rice, um, and then a whole bunch of like baking things and stuff all in these jars, along with like chocolate chips and flaxseed and chia seeds, those kind of things. Um, but those are all in there and it just looks so much better now that this is all like cleaned out and it's not so gross. That really need to be done. So, so glad that is cleaned, looking so much better. Oh, and he's fast asleep. So tired. So now that that's all clean and done, I am going to sit down with my smoothie and edit for a little bit. I've been having one of these like almost every day lately just because smoothies are just so quick and easy and so good. Yeah, so I'm going to sit down and do some editing and then I think Elias is going to be home probably in about an hour or so. Bias is still sleeping, so yeah, get some editing done until he wakes up and then probably spend a bit of time with him because I like to sit down and play with him for a little bit um, every day just to, you know, have some good bonding time with him and yeah, while he's awake. So get my editing done before he wakes up and then I'll have some little time with him. Fresh bread is one of my favorite things. I always like to make my bread instead of buying it just because it's cheaper and this fresh bread is the best. So you bet I'm gonna be eating some of this before I put it away. Hey. 
I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so we can spend the evening just together relaxing. Um, actually, we have something going on this evening, so yeah. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, if you like seeing my vlogs, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss my videos when they come out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, get your fist out of your mouth. <laughs> don't put your fist in your mouth, you crazy boy.